Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. I was over at cgsociety.org the other day and I was looking through a Moto tutorial that someone had created and they were modeling a boss, I believe it's a guitar pedal, and one of the elements on the pedal required a object like this to be modeled and to be combined with the base of the pedal. So they had a somewhat of a, um, a, a feature like this cylinder here uh, attached to the pedal and he made it, he joined it all together as one object and he did not do a boolean operation where if you're familiar with boolean operations you're frequently left with a bunch of n-gons and a bunch of oh, I don't know three five uh, six seven sided polygons which really makes for some messy geometry instead the author of these showed how to model these two shapes together and uh, kind of weld them together and it was such a uh, he did such a good job I thought I would create this tutorial in hexagon based on the same concept and what's neat about it is even though that tutorial was for moto it works just as well here for hexagon let me show you the mesh that I ended up with and if you look at the geometry of this and how everything is nice and uh, nice four-sided polygons except for here on the sphere which can't do anything about that uh, you'll know that this was by no means a boolean operation so let's get started I'm going to start off by creating a sphere uh, excuse me a cube and I'll just extend it out a little bit and I'm going to come over here to free tessellate choose tessellation by slice and I'm just going to add two cuts in here and select these two edges hit the L on my keyboard to loop that and I'll just roughly center them like that okay now let's come over to 3d primitives create a small sphere and I'm going to leave all the defaults as is that will be fine for me I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees now what I want to do is delete all of the polygons here on the bottom so I'm just gonna select all of these and when they're all selected I'll just hit the delete button and I'll probably miss some hit delete so I'll snag those delete those there we are okay I'm gonna add a solid surface on the bottom there and the only purpose of adding that is so that I can now use the lay on tool and lay it flush onto my model okay hide my sphere I'm gonna select that bottom again I don't need it anymore it served its purpose so I'm gonna delete it and now I'm gonna select all of these and I will delete them so essentially I'm left with just one quarter of my initial sphere here okay let's select that edge loop it and I'm going to use the extr fast extrude tool and I'm just going to extrude it all the way to the uh, end of my model I'll worry about making it perfect later that's that's fine for now okay so I've got my stretched out uh, sil um, sphere on top of my cube what I need to do is I need to combine these together let me enlarge this just a little bit combine it all together well first thing I need to do is be, is I need to add some cuts here on my cube so I'm gonna come over here to free tessellate 
And actually, I'll do tessellation. No, I'll just do free tessellate because I don't need the thing to go all the way through. You can if you want. And I'll just roughly put it there. It's not a perfect line, but I will clean that up later. And I'll add one more cut all the way across just like that. I'm going to select points. And now I'm going to uh, clean these up, make sure there's no offset. And I want to make sure there's no offset along the X. And it's a very small amount here, so I'm just going to uh, select that number. Hit 0. And select those points. The offset here is a little greater. I'll hit 0. Now, because I didn't bring my slices all the way through, got a little geometry problem there. But we will clean it up by eliminating them and then sealing that up again. Okay, let me loop this. What I want to do is I want to bring this these edges right up here to these edges. Let me select that, loop that, and I will bring these edges right up to there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, on my cube here, select faces. I'm going to delete those faces right there. And now what I want to do is come up here to Edges, select... Uh, actually, what I'll do is uh, combine all these now. I'll weld this object together, select those two edges, hit my Bridge tool, and now you see I have bridged that gap in between there. And I'll hit the Bridge tool on this side. Now I'll select that edge and that edge. Hit the Bridge tool there, there, and there. Hit the Bridge tool again. Now probably what I need to do is add one more cut in here and along there. So uh, Edge Tools. Oh, here we are. Tessellation, and I will hold down my Shift button so I can add a cut right there in the middle. And I'll come up here and do this again there and right there. Okay, select edges. Select that edge and that edge. Bridge the two of them together. Bridge those two together. Okay, now we've got... There, I can do this one here. There and there, and bridge those two. Okay, we've got one polygon here, one, one edge here that we have to connect two edges to. And the easiest way to do that is to come up. Let's add a subdivision here. Hold down Shift. Put a slice right through the middle there. Select those two edges, bridge, select those two edges, and bridge those two. And now we have effectively welded this whole thing together and we have some very clean looking geometry. Except now we've got a small problem here. So let's delete those faces. I'm going to select all these edges loop that, and I'm going to make sure that I eliminate any offset along the x-axis. And here it shows an offset size of 0.187. So I'll um, select that, 0, Enter, and now that is uh, effectively all welded together and it's all straight. So you can come up here to your symmetry tool Now we can weld both of these together, and we have the shape that was initially shown in the, uh, the video and that I showed at the beginning. Uh, now the only thing that I did differently is I added a little bit of a bend to this here.
just like this. So we've got some very clean looking geometry and no ingons and and it will certainly make it very easy to uh, UV map this because you have got all four-sided polygons and it's it's laid out uh, pretty clean and if you want to well, now what would you do with something like this well for one it was used in that boss pedal but two you could create a whole bunch of these and add uh, some sort of design say to a flooring surface if you want to create a sci-fi floor or um, actually some some raised um, uh, symbols on some sci-fi walls or something anyway this is a, uh, a a good method on joining geometry together and ending up with a very clean mesh so that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching here at Geek at Play Studios. My name's Gary Miller. Have a good day.